Hello, welcome back. So, just jumping right into things. Since I haven't streamed like Yakuza for about a week now, I did a little bit of grinding in the off screen. So you can see that I am levels 53 plus and Adachi's almost level 60 because I have him equipped with the Tranquil Tenugui, which boosts XP by uh, half a percent or 50 percent, but also has his HP, but also he's in the back line, so it doesn't matter. I also went and did... Also, I changed their classes around a little bit just so they would level up and get some character skills. Oh yeah, I uh, upgraded Ichiban's bat, so it's the max level bat. It's the Legendary Heroes Bat EX. I also went through the, uh, the battle tower a bunch. I was grinding out levels 26 to 30. Just basically constantly doing them over and over again. Because each time you clear it with the optional objectives, you get this, this, and this. And these are very high-end pieces of gear. Like, the, the best gear I can get from the weapons workshop is slightly better than this. Like, one or two points. It's, this is the best stuff I can get, effectively. And I need to, I need to grind out more of them because I, I ran out. Or actually, I guess she can't even equip them. Maybe she can. I don't know. Like it says there, can equip. No, but who? Like she's not on the equip list for this for whatever reason. So who who knows? It may also just be like I don't have them equipped with it. Oh yeah, that's what it is actually. If it, if it wasn't can equip, then they wouldn't even have it, like, on the list. Yeah, like that. See? So, that that's where I'm at currently. However, since I'm currently here at Hello Work, can I help you? I'm going to change jobs around. Uh, Ichiban can stay as he is. Um, I'll probably keep him as a gangster, because gangster is actually a pretty good move. Or it has some pretty good moves. It's good, uh, good offense. Nanba, I leveled up his homeless guy all the way to 28, so I have all the skills for that. Probably gonna keep it there for now as well. It's like his highest stats. So obviously I wanted that for just that reason. And I'll be able to use all of his pigeon stuff. Oh yeah, I got upgrades for his pigeon skills too. And... Jungi Han, going back to Hitman as well. Like, th this is effectively their best form at the moment. I just leveled up their base classes all the way to max. Uh, Adachi is my highest level character, but he's also max. He's level 28 Devil Rocker. So I think I'm going to change him over to his detective class just to level that one up. Since I don't plan on, like, swapping them around. Aries, level 27. She's almost done leveling that class. I'm going to have her level Hostess up. Just a little bit more. Actually, I'm going to have her go back to Barmaid, like, her, her base class, just to level that one up as well. Like, at the point I'm at, I can level up a class to, like, level 10 in one fight. It's hilarious. So everyone's basically just hanging out at their sure base classes. The, the base classes, I feel like, are actually probably their strongest. Well, if they're not their strongest, they're real up there. And they're real good for, um... They're not the strong... How am I putting this? If they're not the strongest, they still are a very good, like, base class to work on. They don't have, like, weird... Uh, intricacies like the musician has the voltage thing and it, it's got like area debuffs and such but it's not really good attacking and that sort of thing all the base classes are fairly good like just using the base classes will give you a fairly good mix of healing debuff whatever well maybe not healing if I want healing I go with an idol so 
So just for you, let's give you a... I don't really know what to give you. Uh, how about... I don't really know what to give... I don't really know what to give him at this point. Like, this is all stat boost items. And I don't have enough of these to, like, make it worth it, so I probably just leave those for the moment. Alright. Let's see, next thing to do... Head on over to survive, because I have some character interactions I need to clean up. Namba's almost at level 5. So that's exciting. Actually, is he almost at level 5? I want to say he is. Yeah, Bond is level 1 there. Le yeah, he's almost level 5, so this will be his max Bond. What what happened? <laughs> oh, actually, if I level up uh, Jungi Han more, maybe I'll be able to get his character song. Or his karaoke song. Jeez, Namba, this is by far the happiest I've seen you. Hey, I see someone's in a good mood. <laughs> of course. I've wanted to have a surprise party ever oh, since I was a little kid. Right. Fair enough. That's right, I was supposed to ask that Futawa chick when Mizuhi Chan's leaving. Oh god, I forgot about the. F I forgot about his plot, actually. It's been a little while. Are coming along. The party plans, I mean. No, oh, uh, great. Well, don't overthink it. I'm just grateful for the effort. No way. I I'm using practically all the brain power I have on this. Namba, can I borrow Kasuga for a moment? Why? What's going on? It's about your birthday. Wouldn't want to ruin the surprise, now would we? No, we sure wouldn't. <laughs> Go do your thing, Ichiban. Shall we, Kasuga? Sure. So I spoke on the phone with the mama who runs the bar. What bar? The one Futaba works at. Apparently, she was caught stealing. She's stealing? I know. What's more, Futaba is apparently quite a playgirl. I hear her latest boyfriend has her hooked on Pachinko. Jeez. Uh, sounds about right. Anyway, Mama started crying and asked me to get back her money. Futaba should be over at Pirates, one of the local pachinko parlors. So she's gambling with stolen money? What a catch. Yeah, listen. Would you mind taking care of this? I think it'll be a good chance to get more details about Mizue-chan. Good idea. I can get the money and the info out of Futaba in one fell swoop. Excellent. Seems legit. Nothing shady about that, just some shakedowns. Babe, you hungry for sushi or yakiniku? <laughs> Shit, why not both? You hit the freaking jackpot just now. <laughs> Baby, I am the jackpot. Hold up. Shouldn't you be giving that money back to your boss? <sighs> this loser again? What do you even want from me? A couple things. First, you need to give back the money you stole from your job. And second, I need info on Mizue-chan, a nurse you used to work with. Dreams of going overseas, helping people in need. Any of that ring a bell? Anyway, I know she plans on leaving the country as part of a hospital program. I need to find out when. Yeah, well, what does she matter to you? Remember that guy Namba? The one who got busted selling meds? 
Turns out he didn't do a goddamn thing. It was actually all Mizue chan Granted, she only resorted to theft to pay off. Why are you debt. telling this person this? It was Namba who took the fall, admitting to the crimes himself. Yeah, I think he really had a thing for the chick, to be honest with you. Bottom line is, I want to help Namba see Mizue chan off, and you're my ticket. You think this is funny? <laughs> As if Mizue would ever do something so honest. What do you mean? She said she was inspired by Florence Nightingale. Yeah? Then tell me, why'd she end up working at a bar in the shittiest part of Eugene Show? Since when does she work at a bar? Ever since she realized her pay was so pathetic that she had to resort to stealing? That sound like a noble nurse to you? Wait, are you trying to tell me? That's right, dumbass. I'm Mizue. Utaba's just a hostess. Oh, well now. You're Mizue? You're nothing like Namba said. Oh, sure. The creep who could never keep his eyes off me. Just the thought of him makes me want to throw up. Though he did turn out to be a good patsy. Didn't see that one coming. Guess my little damsel in distress story won him over. Cute dumb boys are always looking for a chance to play hero. What about your parents' big debt? Are you dense? I wanted some money to hit the pachinko slots with, and that's what I got. So, all that shit about going overseas, following in the footsteps of Nightingale? I can play such a convincing little angel. All that time I spent in my high school drama club literally paid off. And you're just fine letting Namba's sacrifice go to waste? Even if he hadn't intervened, I would have just kept on doing it. Not like it mattered. I knew I'd get busted eventually. Then I just drifted like a flower from city to city, man to man. Wow. Thinking, isn't it? Yeah, I'm real torn up. You did my friend dirty there, lady. If he ever finds out he helped the fucking wicked witch, he'd die inside. Son of a bitch. You call him my girl names. I get it, but I'll fuck <laughs> you up. I like how he doesn't disagree. He's certainly welcome to try. Heck, I'll call the ambulance myself. <laughs> oh, yeah? I don't know, man. I'm feeling lucky today. In fact, I'm on a winning streak. Yo, help me kill this scruffy piece of shit. Hell yeah. I like how he he doesn't disagree that she's an asshole. He's like, what? You call my girl a witch? I mean, I know it's kind of true, but also... All right. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> wow, that guy did fucking nothing. Wow, that guy was nothing. Yeah, right. <laughs> Look, this is Japan. Well, at least I kick ass at Chinko. And just gonna ditch him. Babe, wait! Atsushi chan! Stop right there. You need to return what you stole. Barkeep! I figured out Futaba's real name. She can thank her boss for that. I can't believe Namba gave up his entire career. And for what? Perhaps he's better off not knowing the truth. Yeah, but isn't it wrong to hide this kind of stuff? Especially from a guy who's had my back. And you'd repay him by pushing him over the edge? Uh... Look, it's not my place to tell you what to do anyway. This is between you and Namba. You two are close. I know you'll do what's best. Wasn't he? How will I know? Wasn't he supposed best? to get the money back? Hey, uh, we're done here, right? I think I'll just leave the money here and go. Not so fast. <sighs> what now? 
You said you were in drama club, right? Yeah, so what? You owe me a favor. And don't try to weasel your way out. Oh? Uh, okay. Oh? Oh? Sup, fellas? Hey, Chiban. Where have you been? All over. Prepping for your big birthday blowout. Damn, man. You're gonna drive me crazy with all this birthday talk. <laughs> you sure you can't give me a hint? Nope. Not gonna spoil the surprise. Actually, there is one thing I've gotta ask. Yeah, what is it? When is your birthday, anyway? Dude. Well, how can you plan a party if you don't even know the freaking date? Come on, I'm just double checking. So get the facts straight. Excuse me. Is there a Nanba son here? <laughs> wow. Mizuichan. Is that you? Nanba son! Oh, it's been so long! Well, yeah, but what are you doing here? Wow, okay. And that bag. Does that mean? That's right. I'm transferring overseas like I've always dreamed. I fly out today. Wow. So that dream is about to come true. Good for you, Mizuichan. Before that, I need to apologize. I let you take the fall from me without a second thought. Uh, don't mention it. I was a piss poor nurse anyway. I'm happy it was you who stayed. But you sacrificed everything for me! Uh, it was worth it. As long as you're happy, I don't have any regrets. If you're gonna be like Nightingale, you got some big shoes to fill, right? <laughs> I'll be rooting for you from here. Thank you. That means a lot. I hate to cut this short, but I need to catch my plane. No problem. And take care of yourself. So long. You switch on. Oh, decent plan. I'm happy for you, bro. You know what? So am I. Isn't that cool, though? She came out of her way just to see you. Huh. She didn't do much. You, on the other hand, that was cool. Huh? What's that even mean? What happened just now? I know that was all you're doing. Wait. Then what else do you know about Mizuichan? Well, I overheard the bartender talking on the phone. <laughs> so I pretty much know everything. Then why'd you play dumb? I don't know. Maybe it just feels good when people are being nice to me. Well, fuck me. I really thought I pulled that one off. <laughs> <laughs> Friendship, you get what you give. And that includes trying to trick people. I'm sorry, man. I didn't want to trick you, but I didn't want to watch you get hurt either. No need to apologize. It's on me to accept that Mizuichan wasn't who I thought she was. I'm just glad I have a friend like you around, Ichiban. Namba. Ah, forget it. As I recall, we were gonna have a drink. Yeah. You're damn right. Right? It's so sappy. And then also, aww. And then also, I just had to beat her boyfriend up. Ooh, yeah. Heat buster. Alright. So that's one of those down. Hmm? Guess Jungi Han's on the phone. Who's he talking to? Yes, I'm doing fine. Thank you for your concern, Song Hui. Guess he was on the phone with Song Hui. Yo, what'd she say? Oh, nothing. She just asked for an update on the situation. That's all. Yeah? But it feels pretty good knowing a babe like her's looking out for you. I'm blessed to serve one such as she. The Jungi Han I served before was quite the blessing as well. You must mean the real Jungi Han, the one who was killed three years ago. Yep. 
If I'm to talk about Jungi Han, I'll need to provide some backstory. Cool with me. I got plenty of time. Ha. <laughs> Then Pretty I much. You're prepared to sit for a while. The best way to become sure. friends with somebody Volumes. is to punch him in the face. My father. That's true in one of the Japan in general, not just Yakuza. I mentioned earlier, and to speak further, he was a lowly thug left behind in a foreign land. In my youth, I was relentlessly beaten by my father. In addition to being neglected by those around me, home, school, no place provided me with even the slightest bit of sanctuary. Thinking back on it. I'm sure I was a rather dissolute child. Well, you're not alone in feeling like you got no place to go. Plenty of people feel that way, even civilians. Feelings of isolation are really that common, huh? <laughs> not sure if I should be comforted or not. Sorry, didn't derail the story, did I? The real Jungi Han had also been raised in a poor, neglected environment like me. But rumors of his strength, intelligence, and ambition started to swirl. And as the men from my father's generation grew older, Jungi Han started gaining more and more power. In fact, it was thanks to him that the stray Jingon found any success in Kamurocho at all. While the Tojo clan was being choked by anti-violence laws, the Jingon Mafia were steadily gaining a sense of existence. Sounds like he must have been pretty cool. Yes. But my father, who underestimated him as some young greenhorn, failed to prove his worth and was left trying to catch up. A staunch alcoholic, he used what drunken wit he had to try to get close to the young leader. So, eventually he worked out a plan. He would mold his own son's face, set him up as a body double, and offer him as tribute. What? I was drugged by my father, and this was done to me while I slept. No way! He did all that just to impress the boss? That's fucked up. When he was presented with a body double, even the real Jungi Han could only force a smile. But he saw what had gone into my face, and he respected the effort. So, he said it was a fair offer, and took me under his wing. And what's your father doing now? He's long since passed away. His health was already in steady decline, and for what it's worth, I'm sure he wasn't opposed to dying at the bottom of a bottle. That's a shame. Guess you two weren't super close then. Jungi Han kept me at his side as much as possible so that I might learn his mannerisms. Strangely enough, it was the only place that finally felt like home. I was very much his servant, and he was very much my master. But in spite of that, we shared a lot of laughs in the long time we spent together. A lot of drinks as well. And though I was his double, it would be rude of me to say that we came to resemble twins. So the way you're talking right now, that's something Jungi Han taught you? The real Jungi Han had a way with words I never will. And when he walked into a room, you knew it. Hey, Gunny, welcome Try back. as I might, I would never reach his level. Hearing you say all that makes me even more curious. About what, may I ask? <laughs> uh, let's see. You guys ever share any dirty jokes? Well, actually, I was wondering if you two ever made any dirty jokes. <laughs> dirty jokes? <laughs> Why would you ask? Because you make it sound like he was this class act, so I just wondered if he ever let his hair down and told a fart joke or something. Ha. <laughs> I never once heard Jungi Han speak so crassly. Okay, but what about you? Body double or not, you're a completely different person. Well, yes, this is true. Then did you guys ever just shoot the shit? Did you tell him any dirty jokes or like a bad pun or something? I may have made a joke or two. Oh shit, I want to hear him sometime. Oh, I think not. I wouldn't want to shame his memory. I'm sorry, didn't mean to get carried away. <laughs> no, no offense taken. You've made me think back on some fond times. <laughs> You're welcome. Ooh, confidence level up.
Ooh, D and D's always fun. But you know, despite me saying sorry, there's still one thing I gotta ask, and that is, isn't it about time you told me your real name? Ah, uh, still a no, huh? <laughs> Just a little taken aback is all. I have no problem telling you. When I was first brought into this world, I was given the name Yonsu Kim. Hmm. Yonsu Kim. I have no intention of returning to that name. Not when the real Tungi Han has already passed away. The real one took a bullet to the head, yeah? Correct. There was conflict with a group from Hiroshima that had made its way into Tokyo. As far as I'm concerned, the Chingon Mafia died along with him. But I bet it didn't At die time, enough to not be involved in his substory. Staring down the other hostile groups within Kamurocho as Jungi Han. But with a real boss dead, the remaining Chingon Mafia in Kamurocho were nothing but paper tigers. Does it? Should our enemies have discovered this, we would have been ousted and probably killed. If it were me, I probably would have gotten the hell out of Kamurocho, left everything behind. Yes, that's precisely what I did. The few remaining members at my side did the same. But seeing as the Jingon Mafia was all I'd ever had, I had no place to go. No bad break, I assume. Convene with my allies. I was lost and alone in the world, like a man dying of thirst in the desert, surrounded by a hungry pack of wolves. Sounds like you had it rough. I found a faint glimmer of hope in the Korean community here in Japan, but even they refused to accept me as I was nothing but a criminal to them. Thinking on it now, I should have expected as much from those living an honest life. But still, in my confusion and dismay, I challenged them, asking why they would abandon one of their own. I get that. <laughs> it was enough to make them call the police. And I'm sure that under normal circumstances, I would have been taken away. However... Huh? Come on, man. Don't just leave me hanging. The police officers were imposters, and instead of being incarcerated, I was brought to my new home, Yokohama Ijincho. So those fake officers, were they? Members of the Komijo, huh. sent to retain me under the orders of Samui. It turned out that the Komijo was a place that many former Jingon members had drifted to. Those that distanced themselves from Kamurocho slowly but surely found their way there. Oh yeah. Songhui did mention something about the Komi Jewel having roots in the Jingon Mafia. Hmm. Indeed. Komi Jewel is essentially a safe haven for refugees. That's why they tend to keep quiet and remain exceedingly closed off. For many years, they spied on the Jingon Mafia and Kamurocho from a distance, keeping close watch on their movements. I was fortunately saved by the hand that the Komi Jewel had extended to me. Moreover, Song Hui told me what had happened to the real Chungi Han. That he had been shot in the head by an assassin hired by the Hiroshima Yakuza, taken by surprise from the shadows. An assassin? So what'd you guys do? You kill him? No. By the time I'd learned of his existence, he was already dead. I wasn't even given the chance for revenge. I spent many of the following days in despair. But even though I was in such a hollow state, Songhui patiently hollowed for out recovery. She was more like family to me than my abusive father could have ever hoped to be. A sister to replace the brother I had found in Jungi Hun. Frankly, nothing would hurt me more than to betray her expectations and disappoint her. And Kasuga san. As for you and me, hmm? <laughs> I'm wondering what sort of boss you will be. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do. <laughs> I don't remember ever becoming your boss. Right now, I think drinking buddy is a better term, don't you? I see. <laughs> then I will do my best to live up to that title. Yeah, especially if you just paid Seven. I oh, guess that's finally it for introductions. He sure is shy, that Young Su Kim. Young Su Kim. But yeah, if 
That is terrible. Yeah, that's, uh, that's... Hey, I can make him a foreman. Yeah, that's kind of why I was like, okay, like, if I get a new console, that'd be cool, but also I'm not, like, desperately searching for it constantly. Because I heard, like, just the PS5, for example, by itself, will occasionally just die just because you turned it off the wrong way. And that is terrifying. Let's get ready to rock! Still no, though. I still don't have his song. Huh. Yeah, that's that's my feeling on the subject, too. At least for now. I did buy a PS4 con or PS5 controller to fiddle around with it. That thing is wacky. Did you know that you can actually... If you plug it into your computer, you can designate it as an audio out device, like a speaker, and then it'll vibrate with the sounds that are coming through it. But then if you actually hold it up to your ear, you can hear the sounds. Like, the the vibration in it is basically a speaker. It It's wacky. Okay, I'm gonna talk to... I'm gonna talk to uh, Zhao here in just a second. I'm just... I'll be right back. I'll just, I'll just be right back. All right, I'm back. Uh, PS4 controls, speaker defaults to the speaker there. Uh, is it defaulting? That's different, though. That's defaulting to, like, the weird little speaker that's in the controller or the headphone jack. What I'm talking about is, like, you can set the PS5 as a speaker, and then the vibration is the speaker inside, like, the handles of the controller. It Like, it's just real goofy. And uh, PS5 top priority? Yeah, I, I could see that if you don't have, like, the cash to buy a PC straight up. Because, you know, it is it is more expensive to get a PC than it is to get a PS4 or PS5. Could get, like, a cloud PC or GeForce Now subscription or something, but different strokes. All right. Anyway. It's, uh, oh, yeah. I got to get some food in my characters. Welcome. And I can make exactly none of this. Thanks. Sick. Oh, wait, there's a thing upstairs. I forgot. Perfect. Yep. Yeah, saving... Sa definitely save it for a PC. Like, the only downside is then you'll have to rebuy all your games, but they're cheaper on PC normally. It's not $70 for a new title. God, I can't believe COD is breaking P consoles, though. That seems like... That seems like one of the big things they really shouldn't up. do. I didn't expect it to be you. Aren't you busy? Should you really be drinking right now? <laughs> I'll drink whenever the hell I want to drink, Zhao. And don't forget, I was a regular at this place before you were. Oh, is that how you want to play it? Okay, well, if we're doing that, then who's the newcomer in Eugene's show, Kasuga? You or me? Uh, fair point. Man, this whole schooling you as your senpai thing sure is embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you win. <laughs> anyway, sit down, yeah? You know, when we're out drinking like this, 
It's hard to imagine you ever being the leader of a gang. Everyone's the same once you strip off the mask they put on for work. Rich, poor, leader, follower, whatever. You never know what people are really like. Uh, you should see me when I strip down. True that, gotta strip them down. You know, I'm sort of a sight to behold when I strip down. How about it? Wanna see? Oh, I'm easy on the eyes myself. Why get our naked asses tossed out just to prove it? <laughs> Good point there. My point is, you can't tell if someone's a big shot just from looking at them. It's not like we were born with some special trait or anything. All jokes aside, there's this whole idea of being next in line just because you're the boss's son. No logic in it, but it's always there. Yeah, can't choose who your parents are. But still, wasn't there some way you could have given up the throne? Not everybody's cut out to run a gang. N nothing wrong with that. And I'm sure somebody else would have stepped up if you had stepped down. Most important thing in any group is the leader being a good fit. I don't know if I was a good fit or not, but I was a pretty sharp kid back then. If I put my mind to it, I could excel at pretty much anything. Sports, school, all that shit. And I don't remember losing any fights, either. I was a lot craftier than the other kids. Sounds like you were pretty talented. I just didn't give a flying fuck, that's all. Yes, that's what happens when you're good at everything. I... You modest, aren't you? Up until I swapped places with my old man, we were always fighting with our rivals I'm just gonna in pause China. For a second here. I have played Persona 4. However, I have not beaten Persona 4. I just know what happens. I got up to... I think his name is Mitsuo's Dungeon. It's the it's like the one that looks like an old school RPG with like the pixel boss at the end, which is the giant pixel character being piloted by Fetus. I believe that is the last time I played PS4. on the, That was on the PS2. And then I got Golden, and I've got to beat Golden at some point. But after their boss, Lao Ka Long, bit the big one, the E. Jean 3 got their stalemate going. Your arrivals from Chinatown. Are you talking about the Snake Flower Triad? <laughs> they were pretty crazy. Ah, they pulled out of Japan a long time ago. There's not many of them left. Oh, so you became the leader of the Yokohama Lumong after the Snake Flower Triad was out of the picture? Just about. Had to have been almost 10 years ago. Honestly, the whole thing was a pain in the ass. Hmm. Ogi Kubo let me in on the whole counterfeit bills thing right away. Also told me about how the stalemate in Eugene Show was rigged from the start. Yeah, I actually also have a Vita with Man, P4G, but believe that. I use it more the for uh, playing Umong that knew random that hacked games on it. Guard. The new boys kept saying they wanted to move in and take over, but it was always up to me to keep them on their leashes. Hmm. Then, it was no ambition this, and weak-ass bitch that. Sounds like a fun job, eh? <laughs> Haven't seen this side of you before, Zhao. You're really starting to open up and let loose. How many have you had? Uh, it's not like I gotta worry about the gang anymore. So I'll get as drunk as I damn well please. Is that a problem? Hell no, it's not. I was just saying, it's been fun. Fun, huh? Well, maybe I have shown too much of my hand. If I was still the boss, my bodyguards would have stopped me by now. Oh, really? I hope I didn't kill your buzz. Nah, I know you're the kind of guy that just says whatever pops into his head. <sighs> I'm gonna go sober up. Yeah, sure. Let's get another drink when you're up for it. <laughs> Sounds good. Same goes for you, all right? <laughs> yeah, looking forward to it. He kind of is. Like, he he's introduced to you as an antagonist. He's a, He is the boss. Oh shit, I can turn him into a fucking breakdancer. He is the boss of a gang in town. Like, he basically has the same sort of space as Majima. It's just in this case, he's also a party member. Okay, so, that takes care of that. Let me see here now. 
Is there anything else I need to take care of in town before I leave for Sotenbori? No. Alright, here comes the real test. Have I upgraded enough to be able to beat this fight? So, as I said, I went... What am I doing? I went and I did the Sotenbori Battle Arena a whole bunch. I don't I don't know why I went this way. I can literally do it from right here. I can do it from my phone. What am I doing? Okay, let's save here. Uh. Taxi to Omi Alliance. Let's go. Alright, I can skip this. Skip this. This part again. Mysterious stones. Uh, you know what I forgot to buy? I forgot to buy one-up items. Okay, time for a stealth mission. So if I remember correctly, the best way to go is past him into this room here, then around and up. Oh yeah, sure. Let me just, uh... Ah, oh, goddammit. Oh, well, it's fine. This guy's gonna go down like a sack of wet bricks. Just like that. Oh. Well, it worked out this time. But if it escalated into a bigger commotion, we'd be done for. Try not to let them see us again, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be more careful. I'll get to Should it. I open it. Got it. Congo chainmail. There's a there's an item over there to pick up though. A kunai. So let's go this. I was keeping a really close eye on the. Okay, never mind. <sighs> Premium sushi. Fucking thank you. Just gonna scooch right on through here if you don't mind. All right, I believe I can head. I believe I can slip past this guy right here. Just like that. And then I turn left. Oops. Just head down here because there's an item on the steps. Sengoku coffee. And I don't remember there being items at the far ends, so... Can't save. Guardian Water. Ah, uh, look at the boss room over there. Future boss room, Should upcoming boss room. Sweet. Iron Geta. Should I open it? Got it. First aid kit, always useful. Just double check on my gear. 
All right, what is this fish pouch? I don't have any cold damage, so this can go away. How about... Uh... Brainwashing, fear, sleep, drunk, poison, paralyzed, cold, heat, stun. Let's just... I know there was an item that boosts my agility. Transcendent insoles, that'll do. But it reduces my water defense? Oh! 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 Oh, I didn't realize that was boosting my agility. Aha. Uh -huh. Got it. Okay. Let's go. So this is just... What? You're trying to break in? No! Stop! Arr! So, I've got a bunch of fun new moves now. For example... Actually, I'll save this one, because it's going to be much more useful later on. Look at that damage output, though. All right, I've got this move. Ready for this shit? Eyes on me. Essence of pigeon migration. Come, my winged friends. <laughs> this is so stupid looking. It's time. Look at me go. I'm getting stronger. <laughs> Let's begin. Uh, give me your hand. I really don't know who they were trying to fool with this. Yeah, right? But I really don't know who they were trying to fool with this. This is like they're still in sight. If you look. They're still in clear sight of the door. I don't know, man. Doesn't seem like you're gonna need the help to me. Oh, you got me there. Sitting around in this place has been killing me with boredom. Too bad it's not Mark Hamill. Guys, but I could use a little excitement. Let's get him, Kasuga. If they wise up and call for help, we're screwed. But where is the th where's the seven? Think we do that. Not a chance in hell. Never met a problem the two of us couldn't handle by ourselves. Music to my ears. I'll take it. Something about that kind of confidence I've always respected. If I had to guess, you two were officers. Hmm. Not too far off the mark. Good eye on that one. It's kind of. Ichiban, something feels kind of off about them. I know. Wouldn't expect any less from the Omi Alliance HQ. About time you guys got that through your heads. Yo. I got a question for the guy rocking the eye patch. Do you now? I've heard stories about a guy from the Tojo clan they call the Mad Dog of Shimano. <laughs> and? That wouldn't happen to be you, or would it? Well, who's keeping track anymore? All I'm saying is, if that's you, why the hell are you guarding the stairs of fucking Omi Alliance HQ? <laughs> so you want to keep asking questions? Well, then good luck beating the answers out of us. Goro Majima. <laughs> Talking kind of big there, aren't you, Majima? 
Hope you haven't gotten rusty after all that sitting around. Taiga Saijima. Get out of here with that! How dare you ruin my big setup with that shit! <laughs> Don't you worry, fellas. I've been itching for a fight for a long damn time! Let's go! It's Goro Majima's comeback tour! So, uh, as I was saying... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this ought to be good! So, as I was saying, to my knowledge, the only games that have had English voice acting are the first Yakuza game, back on the PS2, and this this game. And the first Yakuza game had Majima voiced by fucking Luke Skywalker himself. Because he also did the voice for the Joker. So I think it's, um... Yeah, yeah... Like I said, in the original one, it was uh, it was the Joker, effectively. Uh, I think it's Matt Mercer here? I want to say it's Matt Mercer. Don't quote me on that. Anyway, there's only one guy here. And this is the perfect move for that. Uh, sure. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> Ooh, wow, that was resistant. Okay. So, that was one of his moves. I believe I used Essence of Phoenix Blade before on stream, but I haven't seen Essence of Ladder Acrobatics. And... Essence of Deadly Beast is a cool one. Watch this. Jam! Ooh, yeah, that's way better. That's way better than the last time I fought him. Holy shit. All right, over here. I want to say I used Essence of Bone Crushing Bat before, but hey, let's use it now. Go all out. And here we have the new characters, or the characters' new moves. We got Essence of Pyro Prison, Pigeon Migration, which I used earlier, and Heat. Busta! <laughs> I assume that, uh, that's his Japanese voice actor, though. <laughs> Look at this fucking pose. All right. Perfect time for Essence of Ladder Acrobatics. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Oh, let's do this. They're still not dead. Okay. Fine. Essence of Pyro Prison! Activate! The homeless are the true strongest casters amongst all of mankind. There's that one dead. Good. 
Oof. Bring it on. Got lucky there. Okay, he's resistant to slashing. Half health. And I'm going to use Healing Bolus on Ichiban there. Yeah, Matt Mercy, what I said. Okay, what is he weak to? Oh, I can use this. While he's down. Oh, here we go. Phase two. The eye patch guy's a pain in the ass already. And now he's got backup? Hey, this shit can go sideways quick. If you're feeling low, don't push through the pain. Stop and heal or just defend, okay? <coughs> All right, um, fuck, I don't, I guess I'll take out Majima first, or try to. Damn, that fucking damage, though. Um, yes, vaguely. Not, I don't like watch his stuff, but I've seen, like, clips. Ooh, damn. This fucking music is so good, though! Oh, he's just like uh, voice credit for like some of the random goons, I guess. Tiger spirit. Ooh, attack big ups. Got it. Blade kill? Let's go. What? What is this? Get up, bro. <laughs> what was that? What is this? I'm just glad that didn't kill everybody in silly or something. You're in it now. Well, let's do this. And this. Pyro prison. After vote. Oh, geez. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're good.
Okay, you do this. Right. See, I want to go here. There goes Majima, so that's that's good. This could be better. Don't move. Uh wait, I don't remember who Mitsuo was. Okay, I need you to just fucking power some, take a power nap, please. <laughs> just fucking summon some cardboard to take its snap on. He's guarding that still, huh? Okay, what are you weak to? No? Oh, he's still buffed, isn't he? You're in it now. Um... How about... Let's do this. Lower his accuracy. Didn't lower his accuracy. Ha! Loser. Hmm. God, he just keeps... Was Mitsuo the guy from the biker gang, maybe? There we go, accuracy down. Yeah. Jeez, like, is he just auto guarding? I feel like he's just auto guarding. No, I don't want that one. I want for this one. Why is it always Nanba who has to go right before the enemy's attack? Let's go. I'm just going to keep doing this. Okay. I think it's time for this. Call in the cavalry. Call in the catfury, I should say. Fair enough. Oh, 
Oh my god, it only did 300? Why is it always Nanba? Okay, um... Hero's Vigor. Revive Nanba. True. I feel like that move fails more often than it works. I actually don't think I've ever seen it work. Where's that fucking... You think you can win? Oh, it's under here? Games yeah, there we go. Okay, you are gonna heal everybody because boy do they need it. Let's do this. Attack down. What is he weak to even? I don't- I have no idea what he's weak to at all. Like, I'm just attacking because I don't have anything else I can do. Hmm. How about you... Use this. I can't even use Peppermill Blow anymore. I'm completely out of mana for this guy. Haha! Haha! I should probably just keep attacking, actually, because I need the... I need the man to do it. Maybe. Also guarding everything, apparently. So going after Majima was the better play in this case, because it looks like if I hadn't done that, he would have just... basically just stood there and tanked everything. Okay, well, he's almost done. It also doesn't help that he's guarding everything. Nice crit. Uh, let me get a healing bolus over on Ichi Bond there. Thank you. I don't think it I don't think that's the case. I think it's actually their agility stat. Like it might just be the case that Ichiban's agility is slightly Oh shit! I knocked him down. All right, let's go. Oh, that's what you meant. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Yeah.
God, that did so little damage to him. That did so little fucking damage to him. <laughs> oh, that's good. You guys are making this even more fun than I remember. <sighs> yeah, totally. We're all having the time of our lives. These guys are freaking monsters. You're not so weak yourselves. Perfect. Now we can stop holding back. Wait, you two were holding back that whole time? Oh, Jesus Christ. Guys, don't let him get to you. That just means we're gonna have to step it up. <laughs> That's enough. Hey! Would you all mind putting this fight on hold until tomorrow? Please, Ichi. <sighs> hey. Isn't that him? Yeah, it's Arakawa. <gasps> Boss! Who dis? Ichi, allow me to present the sixth chairman of the Tojo clan, Daigo Dojima. Hey! I vaguely know this guy. He was in the cutscene flashback. Wait a second. The sixth chairman's here? Six chairman. This man used to be one of mine. His name's Ichiban. Ichiban Kasuga, of the Arakawa family. Loyal to the Tojo clan. Is this gonna be like a fucking I'm Daigo crazy? Tojima. I see you've met Goro Majima and his sworn brother Taiga Saijima. For real? You're telling me they're on our side? Oh, way to go, Sixth Chairman! Now how are we supposed to finish the fight? <laughs> it was just getting good! Relax. I already said there'd be more fighting tomorrow, majima -san. Right, so I'm not as familiar with Yakuza series as other people, but uh, Dojima, Sixth Chairman, I believe he was the son of one of the former chairmans as well, is the, the Dojima family... Like, literal family, not, like, Yakuza family, was a big deal in the Tojo clan. But also, is does this whole thing just a fucking long con to resurrect the Tojo clan from within the Omi or something? <laughs> if you were listening, you would have known that. Hell, guys, what's up with you? We weren't planning on fighting. But we're not gonna let you hurt him this time, Arakawa. Don't worry. I... I don't plan on shooting him. <laughs> That's pretty vague. Sorry, but you're gonna have to do better than that. Of course. Let me explain what I can. This way, everyone. Come with us. Alright, so at what point are we going to the boss fight room? Hmm. Looking forward to next time. Ichiban Kasuga. Boy, am I glad I did that grinding. That was still a rough fight even with that, but oof. Oh, they just happened to have enough chairs? Sit down, Ichi. The rest of you are welcome to take a seat as well. Okay. I can do that. This looks like a boardroom. Are there just enough seats? There are just enough seats. So, to start, Majima, Saejima, 
and the chairman have all been laying low. For a while, actually. It's been two years now since the Kamurocho 3K plant. It's an right RPG. Now, the only people who know they're in this room are also in this room. The Kamurocho 3K plan was when the young master cracked down on crime, right? Yes. And you might already know this. It only succeeded because they had intel from a Tojo clan insider. <sighs> you might have heard rumors that the insider leaked the info to Masato after he was elected governor. That insider was myself. We knew this, yeah. All right, but if the six chairman's not going to speak up, I'm guessing there's more to this story. I got that right, six chairman. Calm down, Shibam. dude. Easy. It's fine. I'll explain. <sighs> Patriarch Arakawa didn't betray the Tojo clan. He leaked the Tojo clan's inside information with my complete okay. approval. Okay. The hell? At my request, Arakawa-san played the part of a scheming two-faced traitor. And ultimately, that led to him having to shoot you, unfortunately. I'm sure that hasn't been easy for either of you to come to terms with. But that can't be the whole story, right? It's too easy. You told me this much. You might as well tell me everything. Please. <laughs> well, it's not like you've left me anywhere to run. You don't mind. Do you, Arakawa-san? Sounds like he's gonna make this trip worth it, Ichiban. It all started when Masato became governor. Of course, he was Ryo Aoki by then. He started pushing the Arakawa family to leak inside info, which he'd paired with his 3K plan and used it to crush the Tojo clan. At first, I refused. Then he threatened to arrest me under anti-Yakuza laws as many times as it took for my family to collapse. He threatened his own father? He did. And as I was trying to think of a solution, Sawashiro came up with one. His idea was to strike a bargain, to give up the info as long as Masato agreed to extend us government protection. At the very least, that would keep him from grinding the family into dust. <laughs> well, yeah. Sometimes I think Sawashiro is softer on Masato than I am. I didn't agree with him at first. And besides... He cut his pinky off, so that's that's make. why. I laid it all out to the sixth chairman. Told him what Masato had asked of me. And how, if I turned down the request, he'd probably just threaten another family. Eventually, someone would give in and betray the Tojo clan. I couldn't allow that to happen. I knew the chairman would think like Masato in a way I couldn't. Not only because they're closer to each other in age, but also because he's my son. You never truly know your children. You yearn to, but in the end, they're a different generation. <laughs> How'd the sixth chairman get so popular with old fools? <laughs> You're no spring chicken yourself, you know. If Arakawa-san hadn't gone along with the plan, he would have been arrested under some false pretense. The anti-Yakuza laws are so open-ended, the government's got a vice grip on us. We've come into an age where politicians and law enforcement can use these laws to bend the Yakuza to their will. Which means, the Yakuza way of life is dead as we know it. Soon enough, the only thing a Yakuza crest will symbolize is a government slave. The Tojo clan aren't anyone's slaves. Sounds dramatic. What else do you call those so completely under the control of others? We've already had a man of some importance imprisoned for his refusal to submit. He had a subordinate who fought back against police harassment and they found him liable as the man's superior. That was Masaru Watase, captain of the Omi Alliance. De facto leader of Japan's largest Yakuza organization. Wait. Wait, 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 what do you mean we had a man? Hold the fuck up. Is this going to turn? Is the reason the Tojo clan dissipated 
Was the reason they did that in order to consolidate power as the Omi Alliance in order to fight the government? Am I going to be fighting the government? He gets out of prison tomorrow. And this headquarters will be his first stop. That's why we've gone into hiding. We know what tomorrow will bring. What? What's it gonna bring? You gonna try to do something to Watase? Don't tell me you're gonna... Attack him? No. What good would that do us? Yeah, true. But what is it then? We're going to dissolve Japan's two largest factions. The Omi Alliance and the Tojo Clan. Watase will make a public announcement of his plan to file the paperwork. Whoa! Dissolve the Omi and the Tojo? Just like that? Oh, definitely. Uh, I'm definitely going to be fighting him. Like, that is the final boss. He's going to steroid the fuck up using some special steroids at the very end of the game. That is going to be the final boss fight. Not just like that. Watase and I considered this carefully. Unless Prison changed his mind. But there's no way all the current Yakuza would accept this. True. And how they react is anyone's guess. <laughs> yeah, Tomorrow is but actually, though. Tomorrow is a day of reckoning for us all. That's why I need all the allies I can get. People I can trust completely. Ichiban, didn't Mitsu say the same thing to you? Ugh. He sure did. Oh, it's daytime now. Okay. Uh, so that's how you managed to talk to Arakawa-san last night. Damn it, man. If you just had some patience, it would have gone way smoother. It's your fault for making me wait. You know how I am. And you freaking traded blows with Majima-san and Saijima-san? I just about shit my pants when I heard that. <laughs> Any other crazy-ass things you did in there? Oh, shut up. I've got enough people nagging me about it. It's nobody else's business. <sighs> okay, whatever. The fact remains Captain Watase leaves prison today. He'll make a beeline to HQ. Arakawa-san and all those Tojo officers have been waiting a long time for this. All we have to do is follow the plan. Yeah, the plan. Well, if Arakawa-san thinks it's the right move, I'll go along with it. Aniki, you gotta realize, Arakawa-san risked his life for this opportunity. Right now, we need allies who are committed. Does that describe you, Aniki? <laughs> Again with this ally crap. I said I'm on board, and so are my friends from Ijin Show. What more do you want? Talk about committed. That's my pals to a T. We finish what we start. That's a little more epic than I remember it. But we're in if Ichiban is. Well, whenever you're ready, just take a taxi to HQ. I'll come out to get you so we can avoid the disaster that was last time. See you there. Okay, so shit's about to get real. Hey. Ichiba, what if our... <clears throat> if what Arakawa-san said is true, we should treat tomorrow like it could be our last. Once we get to Omi HQ, there's no turning back. You sure you're ready? Well, fuck, now that you put it that way. Oh my god! Ha <laughs> ha! Hell yes! Okay. So I am gonna just... First, I'm gonna grab some food. Have I not eaten here? Huh. Me? Oh, I guess I'm already full. <sighs> Basically. Basically. Like, actually. She doesn't show up for cutscenes even. She just hangs around in the... She hangs around in my... In my, uh, coat pocket. Okay, I'm just gonna... I have tons of cash, so I'm just gonna do this.
There we go. Alright, and let's see, I'm gonna do that. Is there anything else I should pick up while I'm here? Let's see, this is Sega. I believe. I could stop over by the Popo. And yeah, probably just the Popo. So let's West Shofu. Hoppo and the Popo. Alright, next up, I will just deposit some cash in here. Uh, let's see, I can probably deposit like four. That'll give me th almost four to hang on to. Alright, so now I'm going to say a double slot right here. Because I have no idea what's going to happen. Oh, what the fuck is... New Vici. Alright, I'm going to push this button. And when I get back in just a second... All right, here we go. Doo -doo. Is that a sword? He isn't sprinting over there through the crowd, but whatever. hold up there. Hey, it's you again. Who's this guy again? <laughs> Tendo, one of the Omi lieutenants. Yeah, I think I recognize him. From where? What you mumbling to yourself about? Spit it out. While you're at it, why are you here and how'd you even get in? Tendo. Let him through. He's my guest. Your guest, huh? But acting captain, isn't he? Exactly right. The man who took a bullet from my gun straight on. And now here he is, back from hell itself to see the captain released from prison. Yeah? That is real commitment. Well... If he causes any trouble, any at all, it'll be on you to clean up the mess. Agreed? It'll be fine. All right. I'll go back to trying to figure out what the hell is going down here today. Nothing to figure out except the popcorn. So you can watch the shit turn the Yomi Alliance on its head. You think? Remember what you did in your Gene show? Now it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
You did. Why did you say anything? Why did you say anything? Oh, I just realized who he is. He used to be a star heavyweight boxer. He's the loony who agreed to fix a fight for money, but when he didn't get paid, he beat the fixers to death. Oh, yeah. I remember that, too. What a role model, huh? Captain, welcome home, sir. Masaru Watase, Omi Alliance Captain. Here's the plan. The Omi Alliance was more or less split in half when they marched on Kamurocho. But most of the officers, the ones with tenure anyway, are still here in Sotenbori. Soon, they'll all be gathering in the HQ's banquet hall, celebrating Watase's release. But by then, Watase will already have a document in his breast pocket. The Omi Alliance of Kansai started off as the idea of a few ambitious men more than 100 years ago. In the early days, we were fierce, ready to go to war at any moment. Although we only fought against other factions, we know these wars took a heavy toll on the people here in the city we call home. For that, we are deeply sorry. <laughs> Therefore, on this day, the presiding chairman does declare, and I, Captain Watase, do He's gonna get shot. This official document which proclaims the Omi Alliance of Kansai is hereby dissolved. Huh? What the fuck? This we pledge to the Osaka PD. What? Why are you doing this, Captain? What are you thinking? I'm Daigo Dojima, sixth chairman of the Tojo clan. Tojo clan? The fuck's he doing here? <laughs> <laughs> As the Omi Alliance does, so shall we. The Tojo clan is also officially dissolved. Otase-san and I will serve as each other's witnesses as we each end our factions together. This decision was ratified by the Omi Chairman, Captain Watase, and Acting Captain Masumi Arakawa. Bullshit! What kind of shady crap is this? I, I want to see where this is going to go now. Did Mitsu tell you that, Ichiban? Oh, mm-hmm. Remember now? Yeah, but uh, I still didn't think the Tojo and Omi would just dissolve at the same time. I know. This is going to send shockwaves through our world, and many will oppose it. Doubtless, someone will try to start a war of succession. But we anticipated that, and built many defenses against it. Defenses? What did you have to do? The sixth chairman planned every last detail. Watase was involved too. He felt the same sorrow as I did about the future of Yakuza life. When we were finally forced to conclude that this is where it will all end. The problem was how do we end the largest Yakuza group in Japan peacefully? We knew that if we simply broke the news to the officers, there would have been mutiny. To make matters worse, Watase had just been thrown behind bars by way of the 3K plan. And with their leader out of sight and out of mind, one wrong move could have started a coup. Oh, right. But then we had the idea to use the Kamurocho 3K plan in our favor. How'd you do that? We came up with two steps to implement. First, ensure the 3K plan succeeded. What the hell? 
To achieve that, we purposely let Arakawa-san leak the Tojo clan intel. And then Aoki drove the Tojo clan out of Kamurocho, just as we knew he would. He had no idea, of course, that this was our desired outcome. <laughs> Amusing to think that he still considers it his greatest achievement. Okay, but what's your endgame here? The 3K plan only worked because we allowed it to. Hmm. Apparently. After that, the sixth chairman made his second request of me. I was to keep playing the role of the greedy traitor, dancing on the Tojo clan's grave. All while bringing the Omi into Kamurocho to take the Tojo clan's place. Arakawa-san's admirable efforts split the Sotenbori Omi horde right down the middle. Which leads us to Sotenbori as you see it now. Half its men stuck in Tokyo. Weakened. Spread too thin. And this was Arakawa-san's goal all along? This exact situation? Yes. And he finished it right on schedule. Watase's day of release is here. And we can make our announcement. <laughs> Angry Japanese shouting. You, Otase! You're a goddamn traitor! <laughs> How strong do you have to be to do that to a dude? <laughs> I made sure this would be nice and sharp for today. I really want to test it out. Any volunteers? Damn, seeing these Tojo clan legends fighting is fucking crazy! Yeah, very impressive. These guys are all Omi officers, huh? There are still this many? Even with half of them in Kamurocho? <laughs> right? If I didn't know any better, I'd say you sound excited. I'm not excited! We're gonna march this declaration down to Osaka PD! I know! Most of you are none too happy about it. So listen up. If you consider yourself real Yakuza, then you have to stop me by force. Good shit. I'm starting to see the big picture, Arakawa-han. Tendo. This kind of brawl. Most of us never live to see one like it. So if we're gonna make history here, you bet your ass I'm going to take a stand with the side having the most fun. <laughs> you twisting the knife on us, Tendo? <laughs> I'd much rather fight with you than against you. I'd say we're still looking pretty outnumbered here. That's the whole reason they called us, man. Finally time to step out of the shadows, huh? Look at us. We're about to have the fight of our lives just to get that point across. With the Yakuza legends <laughs> side. Yeah, it does kind of seem like that, doesn't it? Shit. Let's make it one to remember. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm a little disappointed it's only five dudes or six, seven. How many dudes is this one? Six. Take this. Right on the fucking drop. You're in for it now. Get serious. Yeah, I don't know. I like I don't even think he's ever been voiced. I think this is the first time he's been voiced in English. So whatever they decide to pick is his English voice is, you know, their choice. Well, that, that goes most of those guys. Cool. Over here. Are you done with all the fun and games yet? Check this out. Eyes on me. Okay. And finish it off. Well. Oh, let's just go. Oh, okay. Bring it on. Just fucking beating on this guy while he's down. 
watch me. The guy's just fucking punching him while he's on the ground is hilarious. Ooh, I got a money bonus. I forgot about that. Look at me go. Oh, there's a knife. Cosmo Kiryu, ex Tojo Clan fourth chairman. Watase? How did you find him? Who, him? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. He's just some extra muscle. Some bodyguard I hired. Couldn't even tell you his name. Leave this part to me. You guys worry about the front line. I'll protect the back. Even if it costs me my life. I don't know who you are. You sure know how to make an entrance. <laughs> All right. Time for seconds. Yeah. This feast ain't over till it's over. Yeah, it's a little awkward when you're used to the Jap hearing like Japanese Q, you're going, Nani. But it's. All right, where where to? Um, I got this. Let's do this. <laughs> Jeez, that's that's actually super good damage. Oh, uh, there's Majima just off in the background there. Oh, right. I forgot about Banshee Bayonet. Fucking deck everybody in the room out. Is that all of them? Nice. We did it. Where'd they go? Oh, there they go. Good luck out there, Kasuga. 
You're gonna do great. Apparently, this is his original, like, PlayStation 2 voice actor, too. Hey, Ichi. Harukawa-san. Sorry for not standing up. <laughs> my body's not following my orders right? right now. Stop trying. You deserve to relax for once. I owe you so much. If you hadn't shown up with all your allies, things might have gone sideways. No, I didn't do anything. It was all my friends doing. <laughs> well, then you have some very good friends. A rare thing. Arakawa-san. I'm very impressed and so happy you've survived all this, Ichi. Wow, they made it perfectly fine. Omi Alliance announces dissolution. Crime families to Zaval. Breaking news. Oh, more at Channel 5 News. Camarocho. Oh, and we're back. Wait, wait, hold on. Does this mean you were hiding the sixth chairman this whole time? Yes, that's what I've been telling you. Do you see now? Actually, I'm pretty damn confused. Well, when you have more money than you know what to do with... Social connections come naturally. Even unique connections like Sixth Chairman Daigoku. <laughs> we met under strictly professional circumstances, of course. He came to me for help after the Kamurocho 3. So Nikogata has actually secretly been one of the most important characters in the game? The guy who is part of the business side quest, which doesn't affect anything except give me more money, and who I met for three minutes at the start of the game? Cape plan got underway. Did you hide Majima-san and Saijima-san too? Oh, yes. And can I just say, despite their formidable reputations, they were perfect gentlemen each time I spoke with them. I never thought that you, of all people, would end up rescuing them. Life is so random at times. Well, I wouldn't say I rescued them. I just lent them a little muscle, that's all. Of course, then I got lost in the fun of the fight. The fight of a lifetime. You are a Kawa fan, you. Well, you really love him, huh? <laughs> With all my soul. And we're meeting up later today. Call it a date, I guess. Oh, he's gonna get shot. Oh, how romantic. Well, you'll have to dish about it later. Sure thing. Clear your schedule. I can talk about him for days. He's gonna get shot. Arakawa-san is going to get shot. It's going to be at a Peking Duck restaurant. It's going to be, uh, what was it? Hayan Tower? A boat. Oh, no, it's just by the ocean. Okay. But yeah, Kiryu and Majima might have actually been able to deal with it by themselves. I'm sorry to bail on you, Ichi. I know we made our plans first, but... I've known Chairman Hoshino 40 years now. It'd be impolite to turn him down. Well, I get it, boss. Totally get it. When there's a shot at Peking Duck and Heian Tower, you take it. It was kind of silly of me to invite you to a meal in the first place. I know that. Heh. <laughs> Kasuga. I'm not a boss anymore. Just a regular old man. Yeah. I don't give a damn who I eat with. <laughs> Well, is Soten boy? Yeah, uh... Things I'm shocked by. They made it to the police station perfectly fine. Uh... <laughs> that's the that's the main one I'm shocked by. Kiryu was there. So, obviously they were going to. But also, I'm shocked that it, made, it went through fine. Like, actually. Are you all quiet now with the Omi Alliance dissolved? People don't know how to react. Not the civilians. And certainly not the Yakuza. The former Yakuza. <laughs> but 
I guess it's only natural when a hundred year old institution just disappears. Is it really only a hundred years old? Any Omi guys rioting? Oh, I guess post war. No, even if they did, it wouldn't change anything. Even when they had real strength, they didn't manage to stop us from submitting the papers. And they've only waned since then. Hate to say it, but their reputation's in the toilet. We don't need to dunk their faces in the bowl, too. We'll just let it be. Did you really know it would all happen this way? No, we just did the best we could. And this is how the chips fell. I can't tell the future any more than the next man. Other thought. How are they going to make a Yakuza 8 now? I guess I'll find out probably in the next, like, 30 minutes or so when a new criminal organization pops up. Well, you had me fooled. Really seemed like you saw it all coming. <laughs> I'm sure Masato's in a rage right now. <laughs> he must be losing his mind. All his plans hinged on the Omi's support, and I just pulled the rug out from under him. Yeah, I have no idea what their future plans are I for never future could games. Help myself from giving into his desires if he threw a fit. <laughs> it's been true since he was a toddler. <laughs> Maybe, but Yax is fun. I'd always hoped he'd grow out of temper tantrums. <laughs> Some things between a father and son never change. But I can't afford to go easy on him anymore. No? He isn't aware that well before he was governor, the six chairman and Watase were considering dissolution. By the time he pressured me to sell out the Tojo clan, all that did was accelerate their plan. <sighs> now Masato knows what growing power tastes like. I mean, if I don't stop him before it grows too large for his throat, he'll choke on it. He'll lose everything. Everything he's built. I mean, he still has the support of Tokyo. I... I just don't want to see that happen. <clears throat> well... <clears throat> I should get going. Boss. Hmm? Earlier, you said you don't have a title anymore. So, what's your plan from here on out? What are you going to do? The six chairman and Watase knew that once their factions were gone, many of their men would lose their way with no Yakuza path to follow. That's happening now. So... They want to find some legal means to take in these wandering souls who have nowhere else to go. I'd like to help them with that task. Well, I have a company. I see. Guess you do have total freedom to do whatever now, huh? Yes. <laughs> and the only thing I'm wondering is how am I going to kill the time? I think this is how every businessman must feel when he retires. <laughs> Well, if you want to hire them legally, I do have openings all the time at Ichiban Conglomerate. Well, that being the case, can I go back to being in the Arakawa family? <laughs> Ichi, are you? It's just... When I was working in your family, it was the happiest time of my life. I felt that way ever since you rescued me at 16. I mean it. But how can you still, after I sent you to prison in Masato's place, for 18 years, after lying to you that it was for the family? Well, I accepted that when I went. And then, after all that you did, I shot you. You only did that to give me a chance to keep living. No. All the chances you needed were inside you. 
Your own strength kept you alive. The real bullet the I shot you in the is, chest with was inside you I've all along. I've never helped you at all. Not even once. You should hate me for all the things I've done. Why don't you? Fine. If you really want to beat yourself up about it. Then please let me back in the family with you. <laughs> Sounds good, dude. Ah, now what? Something's going to turn hey, in a second. Ichi. You were born at a soap land called Shangri La, weren't you? Yeah. So I've been told. It's a hell of a story. One that's never sat well with me. Huh? I dream about it, you know. You dream about it? Yeah. I dream that it's 40 years ago. On that cold New Year's Eve night. Akan is there. And she's about to give birth to her baby. She gives birth in Shangri-La. In the dream, it's Masato who ends up being born in that soap land. No, oh, come on. This is embarrassing. Nothing to be embarrassed about. I mean... You've got a good heart and you're doing the best you can. It doesn't matter where you were born. Thank you, sir. I'm curious. Did you ever want to find your parents? Uh, good question. I don't really know. At this point, I've gotten pretty used to not knowing them. You've gone through a lot. Not that I have any right to speak to you about it. Well, no point in dwelling on a dream. That's all it is, right? I can go the rest of the way from here. See you tomorrow, Ichi. I don't I can't read that. I don't know what it says. Yo, this is Ichiban Kasuga. I like Okay, so before it goes any further there, I was wondering if it was actually going to be like I am your father cuz um Chairman Hoshino did make that reference before like are you related to Arakawa by blood? Like that was one of the lines he said to him I think most recently. That implication in that last sentence may have been the implication in that last statement may have been, I always thought of you as my son, or what happens if she had twins or something like that? I don't, I don't know. Like, there, there is the possibility that Ichiban is actually Arakawa's son, but he never he hasn't said it directly yet. It's just been implied and alluded. Messages, so leave me one. This is Hoshino of the Serio clan. Kasuga. You need to call me as soon as you get this. He's dead. This morning, they found Arakawa's body in the ocean. There it is. There it is. All right. Save it there.
Coin Locker Baby. After he had dinner with my patriarch last night, Masumi Arakawa left Heian Tower alone. So he must have been shot on his way home. Any idea who did it? I put my money on an Omi loyalist. Pretty sure I'd win that bet, too. Hell, there were shootings in Sotenbori, too. Attempts on Captain Watase and Daigo Dojima. Are they okay? Yeah. Apparently, they had some <laughs> ex-Tojo legends with them. Can't ask for better bodyguards than that. No kidding. And yeah, that does point to Omi retaliation. No, it was... Uh-huh. You and your pals should be careful. Since you were on the Dissolution's front lines, the Remnants will have a bone to pick with you. Yeah, that's for sure. I'll pass on the advice. It wasn't... it wasn't Omi. He was the governor. He sent assassins out to kill them all. Can't believe this shit anymore. The Omi wiped off the face of the earth, all because of the stupid Arakawa family. Idiots blew up their own inheritance. Their betrayal cannot stand, sawashiro -san. Oh, he's holding... Oh, this is Camarocho. Remember how we used to be sister families with the Tojo clan? We had bases in Kanto and everything. Of course, the only reason we helped Arakawa-san push the Tojo clan out of Kamurocho in the first damn place was so our family would survive too. Because we're sick and tired of the Tojo demanding tribute money just to let us keep land we'd already been living on for years. If that had kept up, we would have been crushed, just like any other family without their own territory in Tokyo. That's why we work with Arakawa in spite of it being disloyal to the Tojo. Exactly. And who's going to keep any of the promises Arakawa made? He promised once he was at the top of the Omi Alliance, he would promote us to the main family. Are we just supposed to accept that won't happen now? Yes, clearly. Listen, you whiners, quit your belly aching. I won't let the Omi Alliance die. We'll just give it a new name. My Kanto Senpai. I know we've caused a real shit show for you. But I promise we'll pay you back in full someday. But for now, all of us are asking your forgiveness. They may have been ex Omi, but they were probably hired by the governor. Well, just so you know, it's not like we're asking to cut ties to the Arakawa family. We'd like to keep things friendly, if that's possible. Of course! After all, it was Arakawa who was the brains behind the betrayal. And now that he's gone, I'd say the score is settled. <laughs> if you need us, our door is wide open for you. Second patriarch of the Arakawa family. Thank you for your understanding. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you think the score's settled? You backwater scumbags don't deserve to be called Yakuza. Excuse me! 
You won't repeat that. Sawashiro, you fuck. I can get the Arakawa family back on its feet without you. Easily, in fact. All I have to do is unite the Omi already here in the East. You're way out of line. Arakawa fucked up. His captain should be on his knees right now. Stop! What are you doing? You know, guys like you are all bark and no balls when it's wartime. That's the kind of Yakuza I can't fucking stand. Only a few years ago, you were sucking up to the Tojo clan. Then Arakawa changed his colors, and there you were at his feet. Now he's dead, and you think you can pull the senpai card on me? Talk is cheap. The Yakuza way to lead is with bloodshed. The weak always fall in line behind the strong. Help me! Time to accept it. Among the men in this room, you represent the Ooh. weak, and that goes for all of you. Oh! I fully intend to start a new chapter for the Yakuza as the Tokyo Omi Alliance. I hope we can count on your support. Senpai. What makes you think you have any right to pull that shit? You haven't known me very long, but I think I've made a pretty strong case here for what I'm capable of. <laughs> Convince me. I'm not the type of Yakuza who's gonna sit on his hands after his patriarch got removed. What's your point? Right now, I don't know if it was you or some other Kansai punk, but I will gut the man who killed him. You have my word on that. There will be no mercy. The fuck are you saying? Every thug out there on the street knows that you killed your boss under Hauke's orders. You think picking a fight with me is your ticket to the big time? You see yourself as the guy on top at the dawn of a new age for the Yakuza. That ain't gonna fly. Sure. I'll give you until I've rounded up all the stragglers in Tokyo to make your move. Until then, keep sucking on the Omi's dried up teats. Interesting. Interesting. So Joe is the new enemy? Sorry I'm late. You guys always go this hard on kids? Where's this brat of mine you say you've got? Arakawa-san! The little fuck damn near took our guy out! We can't just hand him back to you without some compensation! Somebody's gotta take responsibility! I see. Well... How about a finger? I'll trade you my finger for him. Sound fair? I'll just borrow this. <sighs> All right then. Let's go, yellow shit. God, that music is so not fitting right now. I think that's your phone. This is Oshino. Sherman. You okay? Yeah, I guess. You don't sound okay. You eating well? Uh, no. Then start. A poor diet won't help with the grief. Meet me at Heian Tower. What for? That's the last place I saw Arakawa-san. 
I'll treat you to what he ate as his final meal. Uh, thanks, but right now I... Just be there. Fine. How's that, uh, how's that gummy jewel information at work? Chairman Hoshino wants to meet. Yeah, at Heion Tower. Are you going? Yeah. Maybe he'll tell me about Arakawa-san's last moments. More than likely, probably, honestly. Let's take a look here. Do we have any side quests on the map? Oh, I gotta turn this in. No side quest, just main quest. So let's you save. Coin locker baby. You take the baby and you put it in the coin locker until it becomes crispy and delicious after three days. It is a meal fit for a king, which is why they eat it in New Guinea. Why New Guinea? I cannot say. This dragon is really something. This is more like an eastern dragon than a western one. Huh? Well, what's the difference? Well, like the ones in those games you love so much, dragons walk on all fours, right? Those are western style dragons. The snake-like ones are the eastern style dragons. Huh. How about that? Hey, sounds like you really know your stuff. Alright, wise guy. And what's the difference between a hot cake and a pancake? Ah, let's keep it to dragons. Breakfast ain't exactly my forte. He actually made that sound kind of cool. <laughs> Is there even a difference? <laughs> like, to my knowledge, they are the same thing. Is there a way to... No, I had to go one by one. All right, on to Heian Tower. Where is it? Oh, while I'm here, might as well stock up with some Chinese medicine. Now, like, I don't have the cash for it. Don't need any of this. Take a right here. I get the feeling I'm going to get a bunch of knowledge dropped on me in a second. I want you to know, last night... Arakawa seemed at peace, like an actor stepping off stage to thunderous applause. I think that's because he achieved his goals. He dissolved the Omi, and he got to see you again. He certainly looked like he was enjoying his Peking du I commented on it, actually. Can you believe this? He said he'd never had it before. Huh. What? He said he almost got to try it 50 years ago, but then his father was killed, and he'd never gotten around to ordering it again. Huh. After we finished, I said I'd walk him to his hotel, but he refused the offer. Said he wanted time alone to just take in the night air. I didn't push it. I just bid him a good evening and left. But if I had pushed it... He'd probably be alive right now. I failed him. No, it's not your fault. Let me ask you something. Do you think it was only loyalists? Yes. No doubt in my mind. It was revenge for his role in dissolving the Omi. Men who saw fit to end someone's life over such a thing. How could Yakuza do that? 
kill a captain like him. Kasuga. The Omi loyalists in Kanto are already attempting to form a new faction. They complain the loudest about the dissolution. I imagine one of them is the likely culprit. Forming a new faction? After killing Arakawa's son? Yes. Care to hazard a guess as to who is directing them? Because I think it's the one man who could actually bring them to heel. Ryo Ap. No. The young master? Ordering the death of his own father? He wouldn't be the first to commit patricide for power. Hey, it's Duck! The one silver lining is, with Arakawa gone, there's very few men Aoki can give direct orders to. It, that's clearly empty. I can see there's... Kasuga, you should take revenge for our... I can lend you men from the Seiryu clan. Okay. I don't need guns. You won't seek vengeance? No. Arakawa-san wouldn't want me to kill the young master. I'm sure of that. Then, what will you do? Before he died, Arakawa talked about how sad it was the Yakuza were getting used. Used like pawns by people in power. That's why he disbanded the Omi. I think he wanted the Yakuza to go back to their roots. Like how they ought to use their power to help the weak and vulnerable, not just take shit by force. That's how it was. That's how it could be again. Arakawa-san had a dream, and I can continue it. If all I do is kill one guy, especially if it's his son, all of Arakawa's sacrifices will be for nothing. If that's the only thing I do to honor him, I won't be able to face him in the afterlife. <sighs> what I really want to do is open the young master's eyes. Give him a wake-up call. Smack him upside the head if I have to. That's the best thing I could do. Kasuga, Arakawa was truly blessed to have you. Do what you think is right. I'm sorry if my idea of payback offended you in any way. I assure you it did not, Chairman. How do you plan on getting an audience with Aoki? You can't just walk into the Tokyo government office and ask to see the governor. <laughs> it's all good. I think I've got something figured out. Oh? You could pull a plan out of your ass just like that, huh? <laughs> Still, going anywhere near Aoki will mean tight security. Take some of my men. At the very least, they'll bring your body back. I appreciate I'd... the offer, really. But I'll be fine by myself. I've already got the best crew I could ask for. All right, dude, sounds good. Thanks for stopping by for as long as you did. Although, God, is the Komi Jewel still not up and functioning yet? Because we, we have to know who killed them. Oh, jeez. You waited for me? How'd it go? Fine. I'm sorry to run off and get treated to a fancy meal without you guys. Well, looks like it put some pep back in you. Yeah, I figure if I keep moping around, Arakawa-san's gonna come down and kick my ass. But anyway, how about we go visit Kume? Visit Kume? Why? To make him arrange a meeting. <laughs> I want to meet with Aoki, and Kume's got the hookup, seeing as he's Ogasawara's replacement. Sure, but why do you... I'm going to get him to start thinking and doing things like Arakawa-san would have wanted. Uh, sounds like a long shot. What makes you think Kume will cooperate with you? Oh, did I leave out the part where we rough him up? I mean, <laughs> the guy deserves it. Hell yeah, he does. I'm in. Get out the bloodhounds and let's start the search. You know what? No Fair enough. Fired. Today is announcement day. What's that? The deadline for every candidate to submit their paperwork. The political brawl has begun. 
And do you know everything? Oh, yeah! The fate of the Great Wall hangs on this election. Why wouldn't I be following it closely? Whatever happened do you to know the. Where Kume would be on announcement day? Well, each candidate will give their first speech in their district, usually on a huge stage. Oh. Kume's district, Kanagawa Second, has a massive stage by the gate on Isazaki Road. Let's head over to Isazaki Road then. Oh, wait a second. Wait. The chairman never told me who he selected. The chairman never told me who he selected. We're, I think I think we're fucking running for government. I think we're fucking running for government. Right? It's it. it. <laughs> After all we've been through, I'm actually starting to agree with the guy. Come on, what he's saying is a load of crap. No matter how drunk everyone is on Bleach Japan Jungle Juice, that kind of drunk can mess you up as bad as my kind. Tragic way, Gume is just another name on Aoki's long list of victims. <laughs> Our enemies don't deserve our sympathy. Good point. Let's get him. <laughs> Hey, mind letting us through? Excuse us. Hey, you can't just barge in here. Oh, sorry, sir. Could you just let us... Don't I know you? Oh, yeah. Guard in the parking lot. He's not the only guy we've seen before. There's a bunch of Omi here. Well, look at that. You saved me the trouble of tracking you down. Time to pay for that shit you pulled in the parking lot. Tokyo Omi Alliance. Watch me. Just gonna stand there. All right, let's do a little bit of this. Take this. Try this. <laughs> Damn, one guy's already dead. Alright, this guy seems like a good target. Oh, there goes the car. Thought you could interfere, did you? Well, not today. There he goes, off in the background. This was the only speech Kume's giving today. Where's he going right now? His campaign stops and stuff are listed on his website. The more people, the better. But I can promise you ain't getting close to Kume. Will he not talk to regular people? No, but don't worry, he's gonna win. Governor's orders. All y'all's been blacklisted as threats. You better get ready for the takeover. <laughs> Guys threatening me sitting in the restaurant. <laughs> How'd he get up there? 
I really wanted one of those guys to just be holding a hamburger. Boys than I could count are rolling on over here to Injincho. Whole place will be swarmed. You won't be able to take a shit without us knowing. Fuckers! Aoki's always one step ahead of us. <laughs> I certainly am. What? Are you serious? I realize there's no precedent for a governor to intervene in national politics. Are you are you being serious? But there's never been a precedent anytime we advanced as a society. What about your critics who say you're just too young? That national politics is no oh. place for school young. It was just a coincidence, okay. <laughs> Are they implying local politics is some kind of playground? No, I don't think they're saying that. Eight How about we four. take another look at the survey results? 80% of respondents said they support Governor Aoki assuming the role of party chair. The principal reason for their support was the success of the Kamrocho 3K plan. Do you have any comments about that, Aoki-san? I couldn't have achieved the amazing results of the 3K plan without the Tokyo Metropolitan Police. That was how cooperation between law enforcement and local government should look. What about the Yakuza still in Kamurocho after the Tojo clan's collapse? There are rumors that a delegation of Kansai Yakuza have filled the void. By Kansai Yakuza, do you mean the Omi Alliance? Because I recently heard that they are officially dissolved. Yes, that is confirmed. But doesn't that, in fact, prove something else? Doesn't it prove we can reduce Yakuza activity without a risky policy like the Kamurocho 3K plan? It's not a risky policy. Not compared to the risks of letting Yakuza run free. I'm sure you've also heard that Masumi Arakawa, an officer who spearheaded the dissolution, was murdered. So you see, it may seem like this was a peaceful process, but I think it was anything but, as always, the underworld keeps hidden its dark, unseemly truth. On the other hand, the Kamurocho 3K plan didn't involve any murder at all. <laughs> my plan was the perfect example of a peaceful process, accomplished with my expertise from Bleach Japan. Speaking of which, the Citizens Liberal Party is endorsing quite a number of Bleach Japan candidates this cycle. As party chair, what are your priorities? I want to rejuvenate the Citizens Liberal Party. The Bleach Japan candidates are young and brimming with energy. By harnessing that energy, I know we can bleach all the gray zones in this entire nation. This bastard's using Arakawa's death to win an election, after all but pulling the trigger himself. It's disgusting. Just when I thought I couldn't hate politicians anymore, he gives me a reason. Guys, remember the mission. Kume's going to give another speech somewhere, so what do we do? Well, judging by how it went down here, we won't be able to lay a finger on him. Sounds like you're in a tight spot. Here comes. Chairman? So... You figured your best path to Aoki was just to scare the shit out of Kume? <laughs> Guilty as charged. But they're always one step ahead of us. Anyway, what are you doing here? I forgot to give you something back at Heian Tower. Eh? Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes! Why are they sitting all the way over there? Can't think of what that be. What is it? Kazuga, did you already forget the task you entrusted to me? The task I... Oh, the money. Oh, finding a candidate. Yes. Remember the whole point of collecting all that money to make Kume lose? Yeah, did you find someone? Someone who can win? Obviously well, not. I searched far and wide. But you didn't find anyone. But then, all of a sudden, it hit me. Here it is. Yeah, lay it on me. Kasuga, you <laughs> should run. What? I only wish I'd thought of it earlier. Wait just a second, back it up. Why the hell should it be me? 
I don't have a snowball's chance in hell of winning this. True. I doubt you'd even get enough votes to qualify for the return of your registration deposit. So why would you want to flush three million down the drain? Well, the money doesn't matter. It does to me! Three million yen is a deal if it gives us a chance to catch Kume. I'm not really following, Chairman. In every election, the candidates drive around in their trucks giving speeches. The district's not that big, so they frequently run into each other. When they do, it's customary for them to wish each other luck and shake hands. It's a farce, of course, but it's custom. That's your chance to get close to him. So if I run in the election, I can walk right up to Kume. Compared to Kume, you'd be a nobody. What they call a fringe candidate. Since Kume's victory is assured, he'll be expected to be a good sport. That includes not turning you down for a handshake if you ask for one. He can't just say no? If he did, everyone would say he acted like an arrogant jerk to the underdog. Bad press spreads quickly, and public opinion changes with the wind. You see how perfect it is? This is how you corner Kume. See, your original plan was to make Kume lose, but now the plan is just to use him as a stepping stone, correct? Uh, aren't you guys forgetting something? Ichiban did hard time for murder. It doesn't matter what's on your record. Once you've served your term, you can run. What do you say, Kasuga? Mm. I wish I could tell you to take your time and think it over, but time is a luxury you don't have. The deadline to announce your candidacy is today. You have to decide right now. Then, I'll do it! Seriously? Just because it's legal doesn't mean it's sane, but... Then hurry to the election office and get your paperwork done. It's the government, so naturally they close pretty early. Wait, what time is it? Holy shit, guys, we gotta hurry. Let's run! Where's the election office anyway? <laughs> In the Nishihama building on Carriage Highway. Thanks! I'm gonna have to fight a bunch of dude to get into it, aren't I? <laughs> See, thanks to my connections, I now have the privilege to send some real rough boys to those who need a little backup. Swing on by if you're interested. Who... who sent me that? I don't actually know who sent me that message. Should I open it? Sweet! Should I open it? Got it! Red anklet and simple earrings. Okay, no, but actually, who sent me that message? Oh, uh oh. Apparently, they just handed these out to. Okay, so, uh. So while I'm here. I guess I'll swing over to the hotel. It's the crest guy. Or crest whatever whatever his name is. I don't I don't remember. Uh Camelop. Damn it! Fuck! I need more crests. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> okay. Uh, I wasn't collecting them because you know I got the soccer storm and I thought, oh, hey, yeah, okay, I'm set now. But no, okay, I apparently need fifty of these things for fucking Daigo and Mas Masaru Watase as pound mates. I haven't even used the fucking pound mates. I just got. I still have. I still have fucking, uh, 
Sajima and uh, and Majima. Okay, let's see. I'll probably stop after whatever this scene is, because that'll be three hours. But let's let's just hit it up. Let's see what happens now. Oh, that was exhausting. If I have to sign one more form, I swear. I never imagined there could be that many. Well, of course. You're not exactly running for student council. I'm just glad we made it in time. Hey. Did you see that guy's face? He was about to snap. <laughs> well, nobody likes a last minute arrival. But it worked out, thankfully. Don't act like it's over. The paperwork was just the beginning. Tomorrow we hit the campaign trail. But I'm only running to get close to Kume. I don't actually have to campaign, do I? Not gonna you happen. You do, actually. If Kume and the rest of the society don't recognize you as a candidate, the plan will fall. Will all fall apart. Ah, she's right. Mm. How am I supposed to even campaign, though? I don't have an election van or even a megaphone. <coughs> well, you better get those figured out. I'm with Sacha, and you gotta take this seriously. Eh, we'll figure it out tomorrow. <sighs> yeah... Oh, that, oh, he's hanging out. Okay. I'm going to have to fight off people who are going to stop me from campaigning. Kume must be kicking his campaign up a notch. Guess they already found out I'm running. Saves me the trouble of having a campaign strategy. <clears throat> you think this is a good thing? Now the whole town's gonna know about your criminal record. Don't worry about it, man. I wasn't planning on hiding the truth anyway. Oh, well, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I see they already have you in your sights. Hmm? Takabe-san. Our chairman would like to, you to have something. Chairman Hoshino? What would that be? This beauty. It's an old car we were using to sell things out of, but you can use it as your election van. Huh? For real? We even gave it a microphone and a loudspeaker. We dug those out of one of our strip club's warehouses. This should at least give you the bare minimum of legitimacy. Kume can't run from you now. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> Now we're talking. Take care. Well then, shall we pay Kume a visit? He's scheduled to give a speech at Hamakita Park today. <laughs> nice. This time we'll corner him and make him take us to the young master. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks, Captain Takabe. You're a pretty chill dude. Oh my god, look at that. Well, let's just get in the car and roll over to Hamakita Park when you're ready. Okay, I have to see how this goes. I, I have to see how this goes. I have to know. Elections are the cornerstone of a just and fair democracy for all. Running for office as a publicity stunt is trampling all over that. And yet, Ichiban Katsuka, an ex-Yakuza who served 18 years in prison for murder, has, for his own personal gain, decided to take this sacred election with his candidacy. It's a sick joke! It's the homeless and Hamako! Listen to that. Sounds like he got the jump on you. Uh, you think? Strange that his campaign caught wind of the plan. But they're definitely trying to ensure you won't ever get near him. 
How? The whole reason Kume would have been obligated to shake your hand was because you were going to be the brave, noble underdog. But now he's trying to paint you as a villain, so he won't need to show you any respect. Oh, I get it. Well then, you know what? It's time to clear my name. Excuse me, everyone. Thank you for the introduction. I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Hey, there he is. Turn the cameras on him. <laughs> Seriously? A murderer? Running for office? Can you believe it? It's ridiculous. You heard it? He's a murderer. I gotta hand it to my opponent here. He's such a generous guy. He's basically advertising for me. A total unknown. Can't wait to check my campaign's followers after this. Thank you so much, Kume-san. This is exactly what I was talking about, folks. He's got nothing but sarcasm and one-liners. Why won't this ex-convict take our democracy seriously? Ex-convict? You trying to say someone who broke the law can't run? That I've lost the right? Naturally. Well, it's true. I was in prison for 18 years. But the law says anyone can run, no matter what crimes they've committed. I'm standing here because my application was accepted. If you deny my right to run, then who's really disrespecting the law here? That be you, right, Mr. Law and Order? I, uh, never said... I never said anything about the law. Oh, so you're admitting the laws aren't always so perfect. I, well, in this case, it's strange, isn't it? Bleach Japan loves going around telling the rest of us to follow the law. But how do we follow laws that aren't just? Isn't that kind of a paradox? Well, laws are what you need to... Are you asking all these fine people to just accept that paradox? In this case, we must! I see. Well, that sounds like a gray zone to me. <laughs> Kume-san, people don't want to break the law. They really don't. But just like the law ain't perfect, neither are humans. They both exist in gray zones. Part good, part bad. <laughs> I mean, just one little mistake can send you down a slippery slope. It happened to me. I made a mistake that led me to this city. Luckily, I was rescued from that mistake, but not by the law. I was rescued by the people who live in the gray zones. And man, they didn't ask for that life. They got the raw end of a deal. They were never given a real choice. They want to be proud, hard-working members of society, as much as anyone in this crowd. They know the law is important. I do too. But we also know some things are more important. <laughs> people don't exist to serve the law. The law exists to serve the people. We ought to remember the words in that order. Don't you think, Kume-san? Kasuga knows what he's talking about. He's got my boat. Yeah, but you're a homeless yeah, bum. I like it. Go Ichiban. He's telling it like it is. <laughs> Give him hell, Ichiban. We're with you. Where do I donate to Team Kasuga? You've got like Screw 10 cents to your name. Guy. He's elitist. Kumesan, I think we can have a healthy debate in this campaign. Let's do this election fair and square. Why don't I come over there so we can shake on it? Yeah? Retreat! Retreat! <laughs> Wait, what's the problem? Kume-san, you were in the middle of your speech. Wait, Kume-san! Woohoo! Boy, that's a bad look for him. In a strange turn. This impromptu debate has ended with Kume, the front runner, making a quick retreat. <laughs> The former Yakuza, ex-felon candidate, Ichiban Kasuga, has been generating buzz on social media. That's a fucking title. Useless. Kume, the staff, and even you are all useless. The only reason this happened is because you neglected to take it seriously. Enlighten me, Sawashiro. 
Why are you acting so strange? Got something to report? For now, we've decided to reorganize under a provisional name. The Tokyo Omi Alliance. We have sufficient manpower and resources. So I'll be assigning titles to... I'm sorry, are you under the impression you're the chairman or something? Huh? No. You had power in the Arakawa family. But I can assure you, it wasn't because you were competent. Kiss enough ass. Anyone can get a promotion like you did. You haven't had a spine since the days when you were following me around like a lost dog. I've taken pity on you because we had a history. But enough is enough. The new Tokyo Omi Alliance needs a chairman who understands how to wield power. Well, that's what I am. <sighs> a bold claim. I'll give you 24 hours to prove it by killing this man. What? If you fail, well, I assume you know the... Okay. Yep. Kume should be giving a speech in front of Jinai Station today. <laughs> All right, today's the day we get him for sure. What's up? Shouldn't we leave the van behind, though? If he realizes we're coming, he'll cut his speech short and bail. Good point. Let's go on foot so we don't stand out. Okay, so I am going to call it there. Luckily, any of the stuff I need to do is nowhere in that area. So I can just cruise around town grabbing shit as necessary. But yeah, this is... This is... I thought, after I dealt with all the Omi Alliance shit, that the story would start to settle down a bit, but I feel like it's starting to kick up more. Like, it... There is stuff about to happen. I can feel it. Yeah, I'm gonna call it there. Like, I can feel the turn coming. It's either gonna happen... Like, either I do it right now and, like, spend the next 30 minutes or 45 minutes or whatever watching cutscenes and reacting to whatever happens, or I do, to th do it at the start of the next stream. And I'm gonna opt for that. Oh, give me a little bit more time to grind in the off time, too. So, again... Thanks for stopping by, as always. Thanks for checking out the game with me. God, this game is so good. And I'll see you next time.